Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. Today we go to Phoenix or ISM Raceway in both the Xfinity Series and in the Cup Series. And I decided to hop into the Xfinity car today to get a little more experience because we usually run solidly inside the top 10 here in the Cup Series. But we really want to be able to get a little more experience and maybe have a chance to run a little bit better in the Cup Race. And we started in the 4th position for the Xfinity race, not the uh, best qualifying effort, but it was certainly a strong one now as it came through turns one and turns two quickly, dropping down outside of that top five as we came through down the back straightaway. So we would drift back to about P6 or so, and as we came towards the midway point of this race, we would be able to fall down to the seventh position as I was trying to work my way back forwards now. As you see me cutting the dog leg, coming back up on the track beside Kaz Grella there in the 61. So we were working our way back towards the front of the pack and as we came towards the uh, end of this race we had gained just a little more ground now making a pass on Ross Chastain for the fifth position as we came through turns three and turn four for the final time in ISM Raceway so we would clear Chastain and take over P5 as we cross the line to get a fifth place finish in front of uh, Ross Chastain like I said Justin Allgaier with the victory and hopefully that's going to give me a little bit of confidence going in to the Cup Series race and hopefully we'll have a little more speed as usually stage one we can easily run top 10 stage two the tires wear quite good so we usually fall outside of the top 10 uh, so we'll see how it goes and same as the last stage we usually fall quite late but I forgot to record qualifying for this episode so there you see it on the screen right there we will be starting seventh year for ISM Raceway so let's get to it Welcome to Avondale, Arizona, and the recently rebranded ISM Raceway for today's running of the Ticket Guardian 500. ISM, formerly Phoenix International Raceway, recently completed a massive renovation that has dramatically improved the race experience for fans. One of the biggest changes was the moving of the grandstands to the south side of the track, giving spectators some much needed shade but this change meant the start-finish line and pits also needed to move to the former location of Turn 2. Will these new updates have a big impact on the outcome of today's race? Let's head on down to the track and find out. All right, we're ready to go green here for the Ticket Guardian 500 at ISM Raceway here in Phoenix, Arizona. Corey LaJoy failed technical inspection, so he will be sent to the back of the field as we get ready to go green from the seventh starting position with Truex and Almarola on the front row here for ISM Raceway now as the green flag is up. We are underway here early in ISM behind the 18 of Kyle Busch and now looking to the left-hand side quickly of the two of Brad Kozlowski is Truex. He leads away down into turns one and and turns two now over Kevin Harvick as he sticks it up the inside of his Stuart Haas racing teammate of Eric Almarola as they come into turn two heading down the back straightaway side by side we go now with the nine of Chase Elliott as we go down towards turn three side by side with the nine of Elliott now making a three wide there for a brief moment with Kyle Busch and Eric Almarola we would back out of it there for the moment and not uh, continue with a three wide and stay in the fifth position so we gain two positions on the opening lap certainly a good start here in ISM raceways we go through turns one and turns two closing in on the back of Almirola now looking to his left hand side as we get a really good run through the center of the corner now as we go down the back straightaway side by side with the 10 of Almirola the guy who always gets eliminated in round one of the playoffs in our career mode as we would clear him though for that fourth position as we came to lap seven now there would be a little bit of trouble as Daniel Suarez went spinning there into the outside wall no caution would be called but we would come up on to this situation here as we would actually get up to P3 but Suarez right in the middle of the track as we came through the trial coming through with 10 to go on the stage we would get uh, ahead of Suarez with no issues but certainly a close call there with him in the 41 car and we would be able to run down the 18 of Kyle Busch and stick with him as we came to now lap 11 of stage one. Looking to the left hand side of Kyle Busch as we go into turn three and turn four. Time to clear him as we come out of the corner side by side with our former teammate of Kyle Busch as we cross the line cutting the dog leg coming back on track side by side still with the 18 of Kyle Busch as we go through turns one and turns two. We would be able to get the edge on Kyle Busch and clear him as we came out of turn two. Now setting our sights on the four of Kevin Harvick 
perfect there as he tries to win stage one. We would be able to close in on him as you see me closing that gap. We're certainly running much better than usual here at ISM Raceways. We came out of turn four, crossing the line, cutting that dog leg with six to go. We would be able to run down Kevin Harper and get right to his back bumper as we came to just two to go here in the stage. Now looking to his left hand side as we go through turns one and turns two, trying to take a stage victory, a track that we've never won a stage at now as we head down the back straightaway side by side for the lead with Harvick. He gets clear as we go down towards turn three, but we send it back up the inside as we almost clip the inside wall there through the center of the corner. But now as we come out of turn four, Harvick, he gets clear and Kyle Busch gets to my inside as we hit the white flag as Kyle Busch also gets clear as we go down towards turns one and turns two. I'm going to send it up his inside, but I send it in too deep, giving the advantage to the 18 of Kyle Busch as Harvick is clear by about a car length and a half as we head down the back straightaway for the final time here in this first stage. Bush in second trying to close in on the back of Harvick but it looks like it won't be enough now as we try to cross over the 18 of Kyle Busch and look to his left hand side he moves up the track as we come out of turn two having the edge on Bush but he's going to be able to get us at the line as Harvick wins stage one and we come through to get the third position which is a really solid finish though for us here in this first stage so I was very very happy with this result there as we also have a couple teammates there in the top 10 Chase Elliott and Jimmy Johnson so that's certainly good to see Bowman not in the top 10 but we would not come to pit road and we would get ready to start here in p3 for stage two we're we'll be starting behind the four of Harvick who picks up a playoff point with the stage one victory as the green flag comes back out we are once again underway here in ism raceway behind us we got the two ganassi drivers of uh, jamie mcmurray and kurt bush there in row uh three behind me as we go through turns one and turns two on the inside of the 18 of kyle bush we know we have speed here in ism usually in the second stage we fade quite late uh, within the next uh, five or six laps i was really expecting the tires to fall off now as we go through turn three and turns four just All about right. clearing Kyle Busch as we do get clear of him and slide up in front of him to hold on now to the second position as we cross the line cutting the dog leg coming back up in front of McMurray and Bush as we head down into turns one and turns two through the center of the corner almost getting into the back of Kevin Harvick there in the corner now as we come out of turn two just trying to stick with the four we know the car is going to fall off here in this second stage and as we head down towards turns three Jamie McMurray lurking behind as we go through the center of the corner getting a little bit loose there as they came through the corner and that's going to now allow oh, Jamie McMurray to get to my inside as we come through the trial well McMurray gets clear and takes over that second position as we would drift down to that third spot as we send it up the inside through turns or the outside through turns one and two trying to hold on and fight back for that second position now as we exit the corner heading down the straightaway McMurray has the momentum and he would be able to get clear of me down the back straightaway and we would also get cleared by Brad Kozlowski who came up and passed me and we would drift back to P4 and Kevin Harvick he would lose a lead to Jamie McMurray as we go down the back straightaway now and lap 9 of 15 here in the second stage as we head down into turn 3 and turn 4. Kozlowski also taking over the second position from Harvick. So right now McMurray, Kozlowski looking to be the two strong drivers here in the second stage and as we came to a lap later continuing to just kind of lose contact to the leaders as McMurray and Kozlowski are setting a great pace here late in this second stage but we're doing a great job holding on to P4. Usually we're struggling to hang on to a top 10 late in stage 2 but here we are now fighting for a top 5 and as we came to 2 to go the tires had really fallen off at this point here in the second stage so it was a good gap between myself and Harvick and even to the leaders of McMurray and Kozlowski but I was very happy with the cars still as we come down the back straightaway approaching the final lap here in the second stage a top 5 in stage 2 would be great for us and this would also set us up great for the final stage as we come out of turn four crossing the line the white flag in stage two is in the air McMurray trying to hold off Brad Kozlowski for the stage victory as Harvick lurks behind in that third position and we also lurk down here in the fourth position as we come out of turn two heading down the back straightaway for the final time here in this second stage McMurray holding off what it looks like to be a charging Kozlowski as we come through turns three and turns four for the final time in stage two Jamie McMurray will come through to win the stage and we would come through to get P4 in stage two a great result for us in this second stage none of our teammates would be in the top 10 so we're the only hendrick car here inside the top 10 for the second stage logano rounds up the top 10 and we would come to pit road to take two cans of fuel and four tires and we would come out still in p4 getting ready to start this final stage with mcmurray and kozlowski on the front row here in ism raceway and we're ready to go green now as the green flag drops and we are underway for this third and final stage McMurray leads away as we head down towards turns one being on the outside is obviously not what we need 
as we head down towards turns one. So we need to try and get down to the inside as soon as possible, even if that means maybe giving up an extra position or so now as we come out of turn two side by side with the tr uh, 19 of Truex. And I see an opportunity now to get to the bottom. So I let Truex clear me and go right to the bottom as we come through turns three and turns four now as we exit the corner, sitting in the fifth position just in front of the one car of Kurt Busch's Kozlowski started second in this final stage quickly falling down the order stuck on that top lane as we go down into turns uh, one and turns two Kurt Busch lurking now as uh, McMurray sits in the lead still as we come out of turn two Kozlowski and Truex side by side as we go down the back straightaway as you might have a chance here to take a few positions away from them as we go through turns three and okay. turns four making the three wide with All Truex right. and Kozlowski but we would lose the momentum on the exit of the corner so they would be able to stay clear of me as we would cut the dog leg and try it but I still couldn't quite stick with the uh, inside and make it work so as we came through on lap 47 still sitting P5 behind Truex and Kozlowski really struggling to get around them as we go through turns one and turns two and we wouldn't end up getting a caution as this would set us up for a restart with less than 30 laps to go here now in ISM Raceway. And we would be set up on the inside oh, lane, though, for this Robert, restart. So a good opportunity right for us to make up some positions as the green flag is once again out here in ISM race with just 29 laps to go at this point in the race on the inside of Truex. Not getting the best restart here as we head down towards turns one, though, making sure we get up to the inside of the 19 now of Martin Truex Jr. as we come through the center of the corner, looking into the left-hand side just about of Harvick as we head down the back straightaway. But he is able to stay clear of me as we head down towards turn three side by side with Truex. As we do stick our nose up, though, with the inside of Kevin Harvick trying to take over P3 as we come out of turn four, trying to get the best restart possible as we cross the line side by side with the four as we cut the dog leg and rejoin the track safely as we head down into turns one and turns two. Now getting the momentum through the center of the corner to clear the four of Kevin Harvick as we exit turn two, setting our sights on the top two drivers of Jamie McMurray and Brad Kozlowski as we head down the back straightaway into turn three on lap 51 of 78 at this point as we go through the center of the corner because looking to the inside of Jamie McMurray and he would be able to get clear of McMurray and as we came through a lap later on lap 52 we would be able to get to the inside of the 40 car of Jamie McMurray as we go down the back straightaway Kozlowski loving this to see the two guys behind him battling side by side but as we go through turn three we would clear McMurray and take over second place so certainly showing some speed here in this final stage and as we came now to lap 62 we would be the only driver on the track that could stick with the two of Brad Kozlowski but I didn't quite have the speed to get past him and we only had 16 to go at this point so I knew I was running running out of time because the tires are going to fall off and as you see we come now to uh, 11 to go Kozlowski starting to pull away from me as the tires like I said were falling off and I just didn't quite have the speed in the car to be able to get past him if we could have gotten past him and driven away who knows what we would be able to do here in ISM Raceway but now as we come down the back straight away just losing time at this point to Kozlowski but we would just continue to fight and try to stick with him as we cross the line hitting 10 to go as he sets about half a second ahead as we went down into turns one and uh, turns two and we, I believe because or uh, McMurray and Harvick were lurking behind as they were trying to run me down and as we came through with just five to go now they were starting to close in on me as there's trouble ahead though right in front of Kozlowski as we're going through traffic is his teammate of Blaney who goes for a slide and we almost drive into the back of him as we have a close call there as we come out of turn two and McMurray he gets to my back bumper now and I'm going to throw a big block on him down the back straight away as I know that Kozlowski in traffic now we have a chance maybe to get to him but he would certainly be able to still get through really quickly as we came out of turn four so as we now came through with two to go he was way up there as we cut the dog like is Kozlowski he's over a second and a half ahead at this point so I knew our chances of winning were certainly over here in ISM Raceway without a caution at least as we come through turns one and turns two Blaney going from that uh, big slide certainly gives a chance uh, but if we could have maybe went on the bottom, we could have really closed in on Kozlowski. But I had to go to the top trying to make sure I didn't smash into him. It's certainly a close call that did not benefit me now as we come out of turn four. Taking the white flag, yeah, Logano go. now closing in on my back bumper with Murray behind him as we go down into turns one and two for the final time. Not sure where Gon was going to go. So I jumped up to the top there as we come through the center of the corner. Logano on my bumper as we come out of turn two. We're going to get into the wall a bit there as we come down the back straightaway, losing the spot to Logano and Mc 
McMurray's we go into turn three for the final time, sending it up the inside now of the 40 car of Jamie McMurray, trying to keep it clean though as we come out of turn four. We will come through to finish in the fourth position after Brad Kozlowski pulls off the victory. So a great result in my opinion for us here in ISM Raceway. Could have finished second for sure, but unfortunately I knocked the wall down coming out of turn two and dropped to P4 by the finish. But I was very happy with this result. Our best finish of the season as Kozlowski now locks himself into the playoffs. There is Eric Almirola. He would round up the top 10 last episode's winner, Ryan Newman. He got a uh, 11th place finish here in ISM Race right now. As we sit 6th in the point standings as Larson sits 10th there, uh, rounds up the top 10. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Those would all be uh, very, very appreciated. In the next episode, we go do go to Auto Club in Xfinity and in the Cup Series. We have a second place finish at Auto Club from our rookie season uh, when we went from fourth to second in the final turn when Martin Truex Jr. blew a tire, actually, and took Kevin Harvick and himself into the wall, and we would come through to get P2. I believe Keselowski might have won that race, if I remember correctly. But, uh, yeah, we'll go to Auto Club in the next one. Hopefully, we can have a shot to win there at that big uh, two-mile track, whatever it is. So hopefully we'll have a shot to win and get win number one on the season. I know Martinsville's coming up, so we'll have a shot there. As you see the playoff grid on your screen, Paul Menard sits five points out as we move up to seventh. So I will see you guys in the next episode for Auto Club. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a great day.